Friday the 13th of May. An unlucky day for some, but actually it's David's birthday today and he was actually born on Friday the 13th. Spooky, huh? Anyway, it is his birthday, it's his birthday weekend and I've come outside because I've got a little surprise planned for him that he knows nothing about. So I asked a few YouTuber friends to record a little message for David for his birthday. The reason I've done this is because YouTube's a bit of a beast sometimes and David he's put so much work into editing videos and sometimes he gets a little bit down on himself because he's not doing as well as he hoped it would and he's, he gets so creative and he puts so much passion into it and he just loves it and I just wanted to show him that there's other YouTubers out there that get it and that respect him and like him as a person and just wanted to cheer him up really so I know it'll make him feel really nice so so I don't know why I'm getting emotional. Um, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that sent me a video for David. Anyway, I'm going to go and show him now. So I'm going to go and get him out of bed. Let's see how he reacts. David? Yeah? Are you getting up now, darling? Yeah. Hello. 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 Happy oh. birthday. Oh, I'm on. The dogs are going to fight. Uh, excuse me. I can't get any further. Here he comes in his Del Boy dressing gown. <laughs> Bonnie the douche. <laughs> Girls, move! <laughs> right, do you want to sit down? I've got a little surprise for you. Oh. Put your glasses on, David. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Hang on told somebody's birthday's coming up very soon. Yeah, mine. My birthday's coming up. Well, yeah, but somebody else's as well. Somebody else's? Like who? Uh, Steve Radford. Steve Radford? <laughs> <laughs> mm, oh, could, could it, it be? Could it be that guy up there? <laughs> happy birthday, David. I'm not sure how old you are, but happy birthday, mate. Yeah. Happy birthday. Wishing you all the best. Have a great day. Yeah, have a great day, mate. See you soon. Happy birthday, David. I hope you're right. Oh, no, I hope you get a word in anyway. Happy birthday, David. Have a good one. And I hope you're getting small rotten and maybe even seeing a cool train like this. Yeah, we know you like trains, though. Choo -choo. How did you get to the birthday? Hi, David. Sorry we couldn't be with you, but we're currently in the Red Sea. <laughs> but we just wanted to say. Happy birthday, David. Oh, thank you. <laughs> they could have taken me out there for me, but... Hey, David, Lawrence here. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> we are actually on a secret mission for our Brace and Bridge channel. I'll let you know. Uh, this might give it a little bit of a clue. Uh, we're actually in Oklahoma and it's incredibly windy, so I'm really hoping you can hear us right now. But in a secret, we're actually doing Route 66 on motorcycles. I know it's not RV, it's not RV related. Um, so, yeah, anyway, we just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. We hope you have a great day, and uh, yeah, let us know if you got this or not. Just wanted to take this opportunity to wish you a great big massive happy birthday. Aww. Yeah, whatever you're up to, have a fabulous time and we'll hopefully catch up soon. Yeah, have a good one, mate. Bye bye. <laughs> Hello David. Hello David, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. We're in York for the weekend and we thought, where would David like to see in York for a happy birthday special message? So of course Sorry, there's a bus going past. You know how it is when you're making YouTube videos. So we thought where else better to show David on his birthday in York, somewhere that you're fantastic, you really love. Of course, the cholera burial ground. <laughs> what? We know you like to see interesting places in our videos, so we thought we'd take you there. I thought it was going to be the same place. Just kidding, of course, we brought you to, we'll turn the camera around, York Station. So you can see the trains.
<laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> Mommy, the carnation's gone now, right? Yeah. Bespoke Morgan. Oh, and Caroline just wanted to ask. I hope Claire got you lots of good presents, but I especially hope that she got some old wrapping paper from the bin to wrap them up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Hope you have a good day. <laughs> you know what day is. Davy's birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, mate. I hope you have a great, uh, great day. And I shouldn't be telling you this, but Claire's told me because it's a Friday, you get extra birthday treatment the whole weekend. <laughs> Slap up meals, presents every day for the whole weekend. You name it. <laughs> so, I hope you have a great one, mate. And I'll catch you uh, in a field somewhere, I'm sure, somewhere soon this summer. Have a good one, mate. Take it easy. Bye. Hi, David. It's Amy from Chocolate oh. Coffee. Just wanted to wish you a big happy birthday. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And I hope Lily and Tessie are giving you plenty of cuddles and kisses. Oh no, they're gonna do a song! <laughs> and do a song they certainly did. What a fantastic rendition of Do They Know It's Christmas Time. However, they changed the lyrics to reflect it's Dave's birthday time. I can't show you it sadly because their singing was so fantastic that it will probably get us a copyright strike as it would be mistaken by the YouTube algorithms for the original. If you're looking for a tribute act for weddings, christenings and bar mitzvahs, I can certainly recommend these two. They're crackers and cracking. You got me a cake! I'm sure we're all fear of getting copyright claims and stuff like that, so... Blow out the candles! Happy birthday, <laughs> all the best for both of us. Yep, yep. wonder miles. Oh. <laughs> What's that? Uh, I don't know what I was saying. Happy birthday, David. Hope you have a wonderful day from Oliver and Leanne at Travels of Apple. Happy birthday. Have a great time. Hey, David, how are you doing? We uh, we got a message on Facebook <coughs> last week. Yeah, we did. And uh, he said, uh, Claire's got an old van. So I said to Alice, what do you mean? Claire's got an old van. <laughs> no, it's not Claire's got an old van. It's Claire's got an old van. Oh. So we then twigged on it's your birthday. <laughs> so we thought we'd send you a, a quick message, mm -hmm. just uh, to say it's uh, it's not all so bad getting old, is it? No. It could be a lot, lot worse. It's a special one, though, isn't it? Is it? Is he sixty? Is he sixty? <laughs> Don't know, but we know it's your birthday. Hey, thank you. <laughs> anyway, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, hope you have a good one. You take care, stay safe. Uh, hopefully, we'll catch up with you at some point in the future. But till then, see you later. Ta da! Bye! Happy birthday, David! <laughs> From your favourite people on YouTube, I'm sure. Uh, Northern's on tour, even Woody's here. Hope you have a great day, lots of love and kisses, and see you soon. <laughs> So in tonight's video, we would like to wish Dave a happy birthday! <laughs> These last two clips don't have a reaction as they didn't quite make it in the morning. However, they gave me something lovely to see further on in Good the day. Good morning from Spain. Good morning from Spain. Happy birthday, David. Happy birthday. We hope you have a wonderful day and we're looking forward to catching up with you very soon. You keep entertaining us, mate. We really enjoy your work. Take care, buddy. Bye. Bye. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, David. Wow, another birthday. What are you doing today, then? Is it going to be something like uh, jumping up a skyscraper, swimming in a river, or maybe a cup of tea and a cake? <laughs> cup of tea and a cake sounds good to me. Have an incredible day. I'm sure Claire is going to really spoil you. But for now, it's Taddy Bye. Oh, how the hell? <laughs> how did you do all that? When did you do all that? <laughs> We've plugged in. I asked the people, I said, do a little bit of you. Did 
Did you take a day's <laughs> holiday off of work? <laughs> when did you do that? I didn't that? go filming them. They sent me the video. No, but when did you do all the messaging and the collating and the Just editing? In between and... stuff. Hello. So if you're watching this clip, chances are you're about nine minutes into this vlog. Um, so you'll know that it's my birthday by now. And as always, I never work on my birthday. So we're going away for the weekend. We are going to... What forest? The new forest. The new forest. Now, obviously when we drive somewhere, I'm always really busy, like driving, um, and Claire just gets to sit there, you know, chatting to you guys on Instagram, <laughs> being glamorous, all that sort of thing. But I've actually got a job for her today. So Claire, what I want you to do today is I really want to know the new forest is clearly not a new forest because those trees are mighty big they're not little saplings <laughs> no. um so yeah i'm just intrigued to know why it's called the new forest and not the old forest so yeah while we're driving if you could uh, get on google and we'll pick oh, up i've got to find out yeah you've okay. got to find out so i've we'll got to research up... why it's called the new exactly forest exactly that okay. and we'll pick up the viewers mm. once you've done your research and you can tell them okay so i'm going to do that but if anyone does know then comment below and we'll see if you're right well, you're going to we'll watch see if it. Claire's right. You're going to watch it and see if I'm right. So, yeah. Cool. Challenge accepted. So, Claire, how did your research go? Okay, so apparently, William the Conqueror. Conqueror? Conqueror? Is that right? <laughs> conqueror? Yeah, he's, he's conqueror. not concrete. <laughs> conqueror. And I don't think he did conquerors. I think that is that he conquered things. <laughs> anyway. William the Conqueror created it as his new hunting forest and he named it Nova Foresta, which evolved into its English name meaning new forest. There you go. So the term forest referred not to trees but an area subject to forest law, reserving the pursuit of beasts within it exclusively for the king and his officers. So it was William the Conqueror's new forest. Yeah. When did William the Conqueror die? 1087. That's very good. That's almost like you knew what question I was going to ask and it had been rehearsed <laughs> before we put the camera on. Um, so, so 1087, so a long time ago. Yes, yeah, so that was a long time ago, so it's definitely not a new forest. No. So in very William the Conqueror's forest. time, it was a new forest but without trees, and it's now a very old forest and it most definitely has trees. Interesting facts. We arrived in the new forest and we're sort of driving to find our campsite but there, there are donkeys and horses just roaming free. How have I not heard about this before? So excited. There's horse poo everywhere and all. There's horse poo everywhere, the kids are going to love it. <laughs> um, we've just seen some on the um, on a football pitch, they're just lazing around on a football pitch. <laughs> don't know who's winning. I don't know who's winning, do we? I don't know if it's the Browns or the Whites <laughs> are winning. I'm not sure. Oh, it's just lovely. We're going to show you some footage. 2am in the car playing our favourite song. Turn it up, windows down, we sing along. The summer night has just begun. Let's have some fun Oh, this is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking We have arrived at the campsite There's a train, I can hear a train We're staying by a uh, train station, excitingly We've arrived at the campsite and Claire has sent me away so that I can take Tessie for a walk and she can do something secret to the van for my birthday. Anyway, I'm gonna take Tessie in the river. Is that nice?
in a minute. We go back to mum in a minute, okay? She's just doing something. Mummy's busy, okay? And then we go back. All right, okay then. David's next surprise. So, Tessie, my shadow and I are going to go back through that gate and see what awaits us. What surprise has Claire cooked up for this afternoon? I'm going to go and find out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but there's a massive happy birthday outside. I wish you might have struggled with that because of the wind. But uh, yeah, let's go and have a closer look, shall we? Comes. Birthday boy. Tessie's probably going to just tr trample all over him. <laughs> oh, he's filming as well, I think. Wowza! It's not a train. I thought it was a train. That's all right, you haven't. Wowza! Tessie, don't eat it. It's not a real cake. That's amazing. Where did you get that? Hello. Hi. So we are now on the farm. Um, I think I showed you a bit of footage of Tessie down by the river whilst Claire was setting up the van for my birthday with my happy birthday message outside. We're now heading... They're still there, they're still up, even though it's been a bit windy. <laughs> Still up. <laughs> We're now heading into the village. Um, apparently there's a pub there. There is also a train station. I can hear a train coming actually. <laughs> woo, woo. Um, yeah, I've had a few ciders as well outside the van. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna go to the pub, probably have another cider, and we will pick you up bit later. Oh, we're going to order pizza, aren't we? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to have Domino's pizza. If you watch my birthday video from last year, you'll see that it's kind of a uh, David... It's David's favourite yeah. food. It's like his state <laughs> It's kind of a David before thing, he met, isn't it? Before he met me, so... Yeah, yeah but special occasions, I allow him to have pizza. Yeah, can I just say, before <laughs> I met Claire, I used to have four pizzas a week. Not Is that anyone else's idea of a dream? <laughs> no. She got me on the straight and narrow. For a little while. <laughs> I lost a lot of weight and then lockdown come. Oh, there's a horse. Where's the horsey? Hang on, shall I show everyone the horse? It's a white horse as well, which is my favourite colour of horses. Hello, horsey! Hello! Hello! Don't mind Claire. She talks to all animals. She's busy eating. Hello, you've got some visitors. Let's go and find the pub. So we didn't tell you earlier, really, where we are. So what's the name of the farm? It's uh, called Rushcroft Farm. Rushcroft Farm, and it's in a village called Sway. Now, so far, from our little wander, Sway seems very good. Just about to come up to a restaurant, but we've just been in a pub. What's the pub called? Uh, Silver Hind, I think. Yeah, the Silver yeah. Hind. We'll go for that, being as I've had a few now. Um, <laughs> But in terms of the actual village itself, it's got a co-op and it's also got a budgins. Mm -hmm. So if you come here and you forget anything, you've got those two, you've obviously got the train station. That's a good place, isn't it? Yeah. We laugh at that. No, it's just you. <laughs> I've had a few. Well, yeah, it's, it's my birthday, birthday, isn't it? It's birthday, I'm allowed to get drunk. It's my birthday. I'm going to go back to the van and have some more. <laughs> and we've ordered our pizza. Yeah. But we couldn't find the farm on Domino's. So we ordered it to the nearest cottage and we've rang them up go and we've told them. The yeah, we've <laughs> told them. <laughs> so, yeah, the next clip might be a clip of a really annoyed, upset birthday boy <laughs> who hasn't got a pizza. Anyway, Tessie, you're pulling me all over the shop. Oh, hang on. Is there a nice oh, smell? Yeah. There's a nice smell over here. Yeah. Tessie needs to sniff. Anyway, <laughs> we'll let you know if the pizza successfully made it to its owner. Hello. So you can see that we got the pizza. So it turns out <gasps> I've just dropped my sauce. <laughs> I don't think it's completely broken. Hang on. Oh, David, you're going to drop everything. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's gone everywhere. 
That's all right. There's a little bit of sauce on the floor, but we should be all right. Um, so it turns out that Domino's Pizza in Limington are much more intelligent than Domino's Pizza in Bedfordshire. I'm not going to say the exact town where we live. So Domino's Pizza, where we live, they always deliver the wrong pizza. They never deliver the sauce. And after time, it goes to the wrong address. But here, we didn't even put the right address in, but they phoned us and they said, where are you? We said, we'll meet you at the train station. Job done. Hello. We're now back in the van. Yeah. Uh, we had our pizza. Mm. I had the remainder of my sauce that didn't go all over <laughs> the pathway on the way back. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to say, I've had a really lovely birthday. We've got a couple of thank yous. So first of all, I want to thank Claire because you made it cracking, I'll tell you. <laughs> And the whole thing this morning with the videos, it was just, it was unexpected and it just, to be honest with you, it blew me away because of, I think, seeing how much people uh, cared and seeing how much people wanted to send their wishes, I guess. And everyone got so creative with it, so we yeah. did, you know, we wanted to put it out there and, yeah, and yeah, just really, really grateful and yeah. really, really pleased. And yeah. I had a, a bit of an analogy about YouTube because I said before, we've, you know, we beat ourselves up a bit sometimes, don't we? Even other videos don't do very yeah. well, and you know, it's just one of them things. But I had a bit of an analogy, didn't I? So I feel like we're like tiny fish in this massive ocean, and it's hard sometimes. But some of the fish we meet along the way, big and small, make us want to keep swimming. So that is what we're going to do, we're going to keep swimming <laughs> exactly that. And I guess that's where my other thank you comes in. And that's thank you to everyone that made me a video. Yeah, you guys are amazing. Um, and so are you subscribers and viewers. Because every single one of you watches our videos. And that keeps us going. Mm -hmm. And the people that said happy birthday as well. Thank you very much. Yeah. Anyway, on that bombshell, we're going to thank you for watching. We say see you soon. And if you want to see what the new forest's like, we don't know yet. We've not been there. Um, you have to pick up next week's video, don't you? <laughs> and we'll show you the new forest. We're going to go and explore, aren't we? Yeah. Anyway, catch you soon. <laughs>